Hey everyone, Gorm here. Welcome back to Lord of the Rings Online. Today I'm going to be going over to Budgeford. And uh, in the last episode, we ended up doing the Pie Deed. We ended up finishing the Postmaster Deed. And we also did the Life of a Bounder Tier 2. So that's pretty cool. Let's get going over to the east now. And we are going to head over to Budgeford. I actually think um, if I go over to the Stable Master here, I can go towards Hobbiton again. So let's try to do that. And what do I have here? Oh, subscriber buffs. Yeah, I'll have to wait for those to run out, I guess. Okay, here's Anfast Tunnelly. Hello there! Let's go over to... Oh, cool, I can go to Hobbiton or Stock. Let's go to Stock. Okay, and then I should be able to get on the Stable Master again and go towards the uh, the pathway where it Just intersects at Budgeford. So, let's do that. Actually, I can go to Brock and Boring, so that'd be a little faster. So, let's go do that. I do have the quest Flare for Danger, although there are quests later that'll line up with that a little bit better that I'm willing to uh, save. So, I'll definitely make sure to get that done. So, let's see. Is it going to take me this way, or is it going to take me the other way? No, it will take me this way. Cool. Alright, here we go. So, let's get started on some quests in the village of Budgeford. Meant to, uh, there's, what am I looking for here? I was trying to, uh, uh, disable the sun flare, but I don't think I can do that. So, let's see what we have here. Bingo, bolter. Budgeford is where the bolters live, by the way. Could I take a moment of your time? It used to be that harvest flies were just a nuisance. They'd chew on our crops and cause some damage, but you learn to live with them. Recently, though, the harvest flies have gone so far as to attack hobbits in the marish. I don't know what has them stirred up so, but whatever it is, I wish it hadn't. If you can deal with our harvest fly problem, I'd really appreciate it, Bounder. I hear there's a whole nest of them on the Yale Height, a hill and fair, a fair piece to the south and east of Budgeford. It's not very far northeast of Woodhall. There are three old pillars atop the Yale Height, so it shouldn't be too hard to find. Okay, I think I've seen the Yale height before, so that'll be fine. Um, let's see what other quests we have around here. Billamar? and have some tea. I'm in desperate need of your help. Look, look what I found stuck in my door this morning. Look at this. It is such a strange arrow. The head is certainly of Hobbit make, although very, very old. The arrow's shaft, though, bears resemblance to those made by the big folk. Why would someone do this? What does this mean? It looks like the arrow came from somewhere directly north of here, near the hedge gate leading to the green fields. I'm too frightened to go over there. Who knows what is lurking there? But could you go there for me and see what you can find? Okay, I will. Okay, I just crashed real quick. Uh, so can I take a moment of your time? There we go. So a strange arrow. So I'm assuming somebody tried to assassinate this guy. That's what I would guess. So, let's see. Up here somewhere? You spot a journal on the ground. What does the journal say? I collected the journal, but I can't read it. Oh, wait. No, that's uh, Redweed's report. That's for Breland, so I'll get to that eventually. But, not yet. Here we go, Willamar. Good day. 
So, you found this journal near the hedge gate, did you? Well, hopefully it contains some clues as to who loosed that arrow into my door, and perhaps it will tell if he means me any harm. Stay and have some tea. Oh dear, this isn't good, not good at all. Many of the leaves of the journal are missing, as if it were shaken and torn by a beast. Look here, see the teeth marks? Goodness, those teeth marks might be from a wolf. I wonder if some of the beasts took the pages, perhaps to line their dens? Yes, yes, I know it sounds strange, but I've heard tale of two of them doing such things. If you could, slay a few of the wolves east of here and see if they have any of the journal leaves. I seem to be missing about three leaves, all told. Once I have all the pages, I should be able to see what the author of the journal was up to. Okay, sounds good. So, there's another quest up here. I don't think I can do this one until night, if I remember, though. Can yeah. I take a moment of your time? So, I'll have to hold off on that one. There should be, maybe, another quest I can do. Oh, here we go. This looks like something. From Linda Bolger. Goodness, could you help me with something? Things are not good in Budgeford, Archetwood. A pack of wolves has made its way into the Shire, and there's talk that there might be more on the way. I'm concerned that my farm will soon be attacked, but more than that, all Shire folk are threatened by the presence of these wolves. And I saw... well, it's probably not important. Never mind. Anyway, I came into town looking for help, but you should go and talk with my husband, Milo, back at our farm. Just head up the hill and cut east across the fields until you see our farm. Milo will probably be out behind the house, keeping an eye on the nearby ruins where the wolves have holed up. Okay. So... That's Otovacar, right? Okay, so I can't do that yet. I think Otovacar is like one of the uh, lead hobbits of Budgeford, if I remember right. I know he's important on the family trees somewhere, but I don't remember why. I just remember seeing his name on a hobbit family tree with the Bulgers. So he might be related to one of the four hobbits that went on the adventure. Who knows? Um, I also got Deed Bestowed Harvest Fly Slayer, so that'll be good for later. Um, okay, another Harvest Fly. Over here looks like where I can get some wolves killed. And real quick, I want to check where my virtues are, so let's have a look. Still earning fortitude. Okay, that's good. Need to get another journal leaf. There we go. Let's go talk to Milo Bolger. I'm sure he'll send us to kill some wolves too, I would guess. So let's head up to him. One second. Okay. Oh, gracious me! Any help is welcome, Archet Wood. I think we're going to need it. We hobbits of Budgeford aren't well suited to dealing with wolves, and the thought of wolves again in the Shire is enough to freeze my blood solid as the brandy wine during the fell winter. If you can thin the pack a bit, we might have a better chance of keeping them away from the town. You'll find them in those ruins out east of our farm. I hope you can manage it, friend. There are a lot of pigs and hobbits in Budgeford, and I'm afraid these wolves would love to have either or both for dinner. Okay, so this is another location that I haven't discovered yet. The, uh, the Bridgefields Wall. Um, so let's head up here. This is for the sites of the Shire, I'm pretty sure. Let's, uh, check. So, Shire. Sites of the Shire. Yep, here we go. Bridgefields Wall. The Bridgefields Wall is one of the few remaining signs of the ancient kingdom of Arnor within the bounds of the Shire. Farmer Puttyfoot has been threatening to pull it down for years now to build walls for his own fields, but some of the richer hobbit families of Mickle Delving have prevented him from doing so in the Shire Councils, demanding that the wall be preserved for historical purposes. So it stands there still. Yeah, I mean, it is a very beautiful wall. You know, I wouldn't want to tear it down for no reason. Looks like there's someone with a landscape soldier right there. They're just chilling. I don't bother them. They don't seem to be getting in my way much, so... Alright, nice. Let's head back. And what other locations do we have? We have the Stock Tower, the Quarry, and Ben Furlong. So, I'll get to those eventually. Here we go, Milo Bolger. Goodness! Very good, Archetwood, very good. You have been a tremendous help. There's something queer about these wolves, and I've only begun to fill in the pieces. Gracious me, I need your help. 
A few nights are gone, we heard a great ruckus. There were wolves fighting among themselves out at the old ruins, and area hobbit dared stray out of their holes all night. Soon after the racket died down, a good number of wolves charged through the town, right down to the middle of the street, if you believe it, and disappeared off to the west. My wife Linda was caught outside when the wolves came through. None of them so much as looked at her. If you go back to Budgeford and talk to Linda, she might be able to figure out what's going on. That town's just west of here. The wolves have got me worried something terrible. Some Someone's likely to get et. I think you mean eaten. These are farming hobbits, so I don't know if their grammar's the greatest. Especially in, like, a prehistoric time. Farmers are a lot smarter now, let me tell you that. <laughs> Alright, so, let's bring the journal leaves to Willemar Bolger, another thing we gotta do. How do you do? Marvelous, you found them all, thank you, now to see what it means. Goodness, this is interesting and distressing, I will need a moment more to read this, but it would appear the author of this journal was a man named Callum, and the tale it tells is an astonishing one. As hard as it is to believe, it would seem a distant ancestor of mine slew one of his in a great battle, and oh dear, he means to revenge himself upon me. Good day. Might I have a word with you? Goodness, the author of this journal, Callum, has a dark past. It would seem the death of his ancestor to my ancestor at that great battle was a black mark on his family. They bore that mark for centuries, so the hobbits apparently went to the Battle of Fornost, although the King of Arnor didn't record it. But this is a reference to hobbit archers appearing at the Battle of Fornost. After a string of bad luck, which Callum blames on his mark, he decided to try and erase it by killing a descendant of the one who killed his ancestor. After years of tracking, he found the Shire, and me. The arrowhead that killed his ancestor was the one shot in my door. I think I know where you can find him. He describes where he has set his camp. And it sounds like it is west of here, on the far west side of the Frogmoors. You have to stop him. Alright, I'll try to stop him. See what we can do. So, let's talk to Linda Bolger, too. Gracious me. Milo told you about the wolves passing through Budgeford. I thought he might. Well, I was a short way out of town when I saw a huge wolf standing on a hilltop. It seemed to be digging in the soil of the hill with its great paws. Then it leapt down the hill and was gone. I started on my way home as fast as I could, but as I neared the edge of Budgeford, at least a dozen wolves came running right through the middle of town. I thought I was done for, but they just ran on like I wasn't there at all. I think it might have something to do with the wolf I saw on the hilltop. It was the Yale height, I'm sure of it. That's to the southeast of here, way down across the stock road. Not far northeast of Woodhall, that wolf was standing by the three pillars atop the hill. You might find something there. Okay, the Yale height. That's also a great place to kill sickle flies, so I'm definitely going to go there for that. Um, first, I think I'm going to go talk to Callum, though. So if you're in Budgeford right here, I think you can actually cut across this uh, little hill over here and get to the Frogmoors a little easier without having to go down the road. So let's try to do that. Yep, now we're in Hobbiton Bywater and the Frogmoors. See how much easier that was? Okay, so we need to... Oh, looks like there's a backpack over here. Try to pick that up. Got an Athelus Essence. Useful for my level, but not much later. Okay, let's get going. So, the wretched little man sent you to end my life, did he? I suppose it is only right. My life has been accursed because of the mark of this honor upon my family. Do as you will, I have not the strength to defend myself, as you can see. When that rat man found the arrow in his door, he raised an alarm. Rat man, that's mean. I was afraid of being found before I was ready, so I fled my hiding place. In my flight, though, I startled a boar and the vile thing gored me. It is only a matter of time before I succumb to the wound. If you are not going to kill me, at least do me the service of telling that Villemar that he has nothing to fear from me now. The tired years of my life are nearly spent. Well, I mean, he's not a threat. We might as well save his life if we can. We'll see what the Hobbit wants to do. 
Maybe he'll be a friend, I don't know. That'd be cool to have a hillman helping the hobbits. Or a hillman helping the hobbits. Might solve some problems with Angmar in the future. Okay, so I'm going to go over to the Yale Height first, though. Just because I can kill some enemies over there. And I need to look for some kind of item, I guess, that a wolf was digging up. So we'll see what that might be. Okay. And there are wolves over here too, so I'll definitely be able to kill some of them as I do this. So let's see, harvest fly, there we go. Yep, and we got some wolves. Slayer Deeds are definitely not going to be a problem in this series. Or Virtues, I should say. Not Slayer Deeds, but Virtues are not going to be an issue. Other wolf there. Oh, I haven't gotten that deed bestowed yet? Huh. Weird. I'll have to start working towards that. The Way of the Fulcrum. I haven't done that deed yet either. Serious Demeanor. Okay, I have a lot of quests to do. Or, not quests, but skill deeds. So I'll definitely have to do those. Luckily for the uh, Brawler, the skill deeds are not as tedious as other classes. Like, there are less of them to do. So, make things a lot easier, that's for sure. Okay, I got another wolf there. So many wolves. One of my favorite bands is actually Power Wolf, so that's cool. Currently almost 4 p.m., so... Probably have to make dinner soon. We'll see what happens. Looks like we got another fly over there. What's that down there? That's ah, a wolf. I'll ignore the wolves if they aren't, like, in the direct path. Okay, let's get this fly. I know one of these has some kind of deed I have to do. Maybe this one? I don't know. We'll see. Good thing about skill deeds with the brawler is I don't think I need to track them very much, luckily, so. It'd probably be better to do some of them while I'm fighting goblins in the green fields. Or when I'm in Erd Lewin, because there are tons of enemies to fight in Erd Lewin. Okay, got another harvest fly. The Yale height is definitely over here. Doing good fighting off all these enemies. Might get tier 1 of Harvest Fly Slayer soon. Kind of have to wait for them to respawn though, because there aren't really enough to fight off all of them at once. But I did get Harvest Fly Slayer tier 1. So the Harvest Flies are more of a threat to the crops than to the folk of the Shire, but the farmers are thankful for your efforts to destroy them. Well, that's good. Gotta help out those farmers in the Shire, because, you know, if Angmar attacks, they gotta have some food. Okay, let's get these flies. I don't think I got Virtue XP for that. Oh no, maybe I did. Might have been another deed too. Not 100% sure. Okay, there's a rune-inscribed collar, so that sounds pretty disturbing. I wonder who that could be for. Alright, almost got tier 1 of this, de of this uh, deed complete. Or not tier 1, but like half of the deed complete. Luckily, I don't have to kill that many. Only 60 or so? Or how many do you have to kill? Yeah, you only have to kill 60, so not that bad. I know I've done uh, parts of this deed, I think, in an instance before. Maybe? I don't know. So it looks like there's a rune-inscribed collar. Does it say anything about the rune-inscribed collar? 
it just says evil looking runes, so maybe it's for a wolf leader or something else. I do think that if something like broke free of a collar like that that's meant to bind it, it must be pretty powerful. Some kind of wolf leader, I would assume. Okay, I got some more harvest flies over here. Nice. Got two more wolves. Uh-oh, I didn't mean to open the store there. Or I almost did, but I didn't. How many of these uh, class deeds do I have to do? Mighty Upheaval, Strike Towards the Sky, Make a Mockery, Way of the Fulcrum, okay. Get Serious, that would be 150. A lot of these aren't that bad. And use skills that buff your allies, okay. Be able to get some of those done. If not here, then at least in Breland, I would guess. Okay, Linda Bulger. You found this in the dirt on the hilltop? This hilltop? This is a collar, Archet Wood. Who could possibly be strong enough to put a collar on a wolf like the one I saw that night, much less want to? And how strong must the wolf have been to remove it? I can't read the letters that are inscribed on this collar, but they sure look unpleasant to me. Mercy me! Will you hear me out? Okay, I'll save that quest for later. I like to do these quests at night because it kind of adds to the creepiness. Um, but let's see what we have here. Uh, Bingo Boulder? Hello there! Well, that's a relief, Archetwood. I don't know what's caused the harvest flies to begin attacking people, and I don't think I want to know. I just want them to calm down and leave the good folk of the Marishalem. Sounds like a good goal. Okay, and up here, got Willemar. Hello there! Goodness, what a relief, and yet I can't help but feel badly for this Callum. You see, I've read more of his journal, and his life was a truly pitiable one. The place where he lives, far in the north, seems to be a dark, hard-fought place, nothing like the Shire, and he's not had much luck. I think he may deserve a bit of charity, if you would help me with this. Stay and have some tea. I absolutely will. He may not accept charity from me, his sworn enemy, but I think I should try to help this Callum all the same. This wound of his from the boar most likely needs to be bandaged to ward off infection and help the wound to heal. We should soak the bandages in an unguent of, let's see, what would be best? Prickly broom, I think. I already have the bandages, but I don't have the broom leaves. Could I ask you to help me once more and gather some prickly broom leaves from the bushes southeast of Budgeford near the water? Alright, I will do that, so... Gotta get some prickly broom leaves. It's a funny name. I don't know why... Okay, there's one. Got a wolf over there. Try to kill some wolves while I'm over here. Oh, there's another prickly broom bush. Okay, got them all. Let's kill some more wolves while we're here. How many do I need? I need nine more. Eight. Seven. Six. Five. Four. Three. Two. One. 
And then I need to kill one more. Alright, let's get this one. There we go. Wonderful. Got Wolf Slayer advanced. And how much virtues do I have? I have six out of seven. Not bad. Am I going to bring it to Callum? How do you do? Ah, you have the leaves. Please let me have them. This will only take a moment. Please take these bandages to Callum at his campsite on the far west side of the Frog Moors. Tell him he should change the bandages daily. There are enough here for seven days. Hopefully that will be enough to help him heal. Also, let him know that I hold no malice against him. And ask that he do the same for me. Well, that'll help him. Definitely won't attack us anymore, hopefully, after this. The best way to uh, defeat your enemy is to make them your friend, after all. I mean, Hillmen are related to the Rangers in some way, so maybe he could uh, join the Rangers. Who knows? Alright, almost there. You alright, Callum? Bandages from the little man? I... And this is not treachery of some sort? I, I am not sure what to say. I've hated this mark against my family for so long, I thought it would finally be erased if the little man was dead. But these are not the actions of an enemy. Should my anger be aimed at those who forced my ancestor into battle, or should I lay the blame upon fate and leave my anger behind? I have much to think upon. I thank you, this Villamar has nothing to fear from me. Alright, mission accomplished then. And I just walk right into the river. I need to cross to the other side though. Because I need to uh, fight off some more sickle flies. I'll actually add that to my tracker. Let's see what we got here. So, harvest fly slayer advanced. How many do I need to kill? 22. Not a lot. So, let's go over here. And the Yale height is somewhere over here. Let me move this out of the way. There we go. Can I get up here? Please? Okay, there we go. Kind of walked into the wrong area there. Got some gnats. Alright, that's a wolf. I don't need to kill them. Hopefully those other players aren't killing these guys, which I think might be happening, so... There might be other players here, that's what I'm guessing. Or maybe not. I was just missing a few. Okay, let's get that one, nice. Okay. Just gotta use some of those skills to get my class deeds. I think if you go to the Etten Wars, there are like training dummies you can use and you can just constantly get these uh, class deeds done. Like people get auto clickers from the Etten Wars and do that. Not something I'm gonna do, but pretty nice to know about. Okay, go. Alright, we should have enough here.
I need to kill 12 more. There are definitely 12 on top of this hill, I would assume. The Yale height. Yale University. One of the better ones of the Ivy League schools in the modern day, I'll admit that. Some other ones have some pretty stupid policy and stuff. Went very liberal. <laughs> I respect Yale though, much better. Okay. Nice, got Harvest Fly Slayer advanced. And let's get Wit now. And I think I'm going to end the episode here, guys, so I hope you enjoyed. If you did, please make sure to leave a like down below. Also, don't forget to subscribe to my channel for more Lotro videos. And in the next video, I think I'm going to go towards stock. So I'll see you guys then.